Hey guys, Jacob here. Today we are going to be uh, remounting a uh, Craftsman wall button here. And today, this wall button would be happen to be connected to a Craftsman garage door opener. As you can see, it has a bunch of these old this old wire here. And today, we're going to be fixing that. We're going to be making that all better. So, to begin... You're going to want to unscrew the button here. Okay, the other thing we'll want to do. Alright, so it's uh, I'm not completely replacing the button. But uh, I would, one thing I would like to do is not mess up the time on it because that would just be bad. So we can unscrew these wire nuts here. I'm doing this all live. I don't know why. But as you can see here, this was put in, uh, this was manufactured in a February of 2012. There we go. Okay, so. Eh, who cares if I mess up time? Nothing bad will happen. button. Okay, right, so we can cross these two wires here. I guess not, but you know. Okay, so we got the wire removed. Now, next thing we want to do is get these wires stripped. So we can just work with them. Oh, I would like to strip them. All right. Boom. Yes, this was put down for me about um, many years ago, back when I was uh, really into garage door openers. Uh, I would love to just uh, push the button, but then. Uh, we realized that they, nobody wanted to uh, open and close, hold me up so I could push the button. So my uncle decided to uh, wrap wrap around a uh, new button switch for it. Is this white red? No, this is just white. Hold on real quick. There we go. And so we can just put this on here, like so. So we can uh, mount it so we can tighten the first screw right here. Okay, now we can uh, tighten up the screw. I did it again. Now it's just... This is way more than five feet in the, uh, in the air. I don't know why the installer did it like that. The uh, predecessor button for this was, was a uh, 
genie uh, button. Let me see if I can get this to go back into the wall here. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, but uh, occasional case of the horrifying, yes. Never hurt anybody. There we go. I'm gonna add an extra screw later, but. This opener, this Craftsman opener replaced an old Genie IDS 99990. And this is a Craftsman 139, uh, 53999. I, I honestly don't know. But that will be it for today. Bye, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.